visiting Cape May County, you're gonna wanna spend a day at the Cape May County Park and Zoo. It's one of our local treasures. Hi, if this is our first time meeting, I'm Suzanne Gilson, Realtor Down the Shore with Century 21 Alliance. And along with my husband, a licensed contractor and home inspector, we've helped hundreds of families buy, sell, and invest in real estate. So if you're here for market news, real estate tips, or just love the Jersey Shore, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, it's free, and you'll never miss a video. It's springtime, and before our little beach towns get filled with tourists and visitors, I like to visit our local attractions. The new grandson in tow, heading to the Cape May County Park and Zoo is on our uh, must-do list. The Cape May County Park and Zoo is located off of the Parkway Exit 11 on Route 9 in Cape May Courthouse. It's free to enter. Uh, they do accept donations. Inside the park, you'll find large fields great for playing games and holding events. They have a large playground, actually two playgrounds. There are numerous pavilions uh, throughout the park that you can reserve for a small fee, um, and they have barbecue grills as well. There are plenty of picnic tables scattered throughout the park that are on a first come, first serve basis, and you can just use for free. There's a lovely duck pond with a gazebo. I've seen people getting married under this gazebo, but today we just see a single turtle soaking up the sun. There are walking and jogging trails around the perimeter of the park too. The park and zoo holds all kinds of uh, special events throughout the year, such as Easter egg hunts, uh, Boo in the Zoo, Earth Day events. Be sure to check out their calendar to see what's happening and I'll put a link to that uh, down below. The zoo is a really nice size. It's not too large, not overwhelming. They have a farm area at uh, near the entrance with some very active goats who aren't shy at all about wanting to be fed. There's a world of birds house, which today we didn't go into, but we did stroll past the pink flamingos. There's the always favorite otter playground. There's a reptile house and a long boardwalk through the woods out to the savannah where you'll find giraffes, a zebra, an ostrich, owls, a spotted leopard, even a red panda. Today we didn't walk out to the savannah as baby Luke was getting ready for lunch. We did stroll past the camels and some very entertaining monkeys on our way out. The Cape May County Park and Zoo also features a gift shop near the entrance and there's also a stroller and wagon rental facility. Inside the zoo, there's a brand new safari cafe where you can purchase lunch, a snack, and enjoy outdoor dining. And if you're feeling a little adventurous, in addition to the park and zoo, there's the Tree to Tree Adventure Park. Uh, this is an obstacle course and a zip line. Now they do have an obstacle course for kids ages seven and older, and the zip line and adventure course is kids and adults ages 10 and older. I am going to put a link below to the Cape May County Park and Zoo website where you can also read Tree to Tree Adventure Park because currently they're open only on weekends so you definitely want to check out when it's available. So when visiting Cape May County, be sure to save a day to visit the Cape May County Park and Zoo, one of our many local treasures. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.